check one two one two mic check one two one two this is not financial advice i just hope you bought your oven miss baby because it's about to get hot in the kitchen now we got to talk about it i had to come on an hour early because it's a lot that we have to discuss and it's a lot that we have to see in terms of what's going on with russia and ukraine and we have to also talk about how the stock market is coming down drastically and can potentially not guaranteed but potentially come down even more drastically but you have to be prepared not surprised i tell you every time it's getting hot in the kitchen so Without further ado, I want you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then let's get into it and let's talk about it because family is getting bad. Now, I don't mean that it's time to hightail it and run. It's time to look towards the fire and say, okay, if my goal is to build wealth here, how can I do so? What can I go and do? Now, again, I want you to join the Discord if you have not done so already. That's going to be important. So then when we run put options, how to make money on the way down, you know how to do it. That's one of the skills that I really want you to practice yourself and be able to learn. That's basically the main thing that I really, the skill in terms of any skill that I want you to have, this is the skill. I want you to, I need you to learn how to buy put options and make money on the way down and not randomly just flip a coin and do it i want you to learn so join the discord get in the class with us i linked it to the top now let's talk about everything going on in terms of russia and ukraine and how the markets is likely to come down more mid to longer term not extremely long term but mid to long term now let's get it so i want y'all to just pay attention to how this is impacting people and when you look at and good morning everybody good morning real early morning right but we're gonna we going in today check this out i want you to just see everything going on and how it's impacting real people in this world now here we go undeterred they are ready to go right now it won't be bloodless uh, there will be suffering there will be sacrifice Ukraine seeming to know how imminent full-scale invasion could be, declaring a state of emergency and President Zelensky activating members of the military reserve. You need the uniform, jacket. Dmitry Bulatov is one of those joining the fight. My colleague Ian Panho spoke with him as he prepared to report for duty. In morning, I wake up and call to the military uh, office and said, okay, I'm ready. Tomorrow I will be in army. His wife anxious about his deployment, but Dimitro's sense of duty stands resolute. This is a big moment for Ukraine. Yes, yes. this most uh, important and historical moment. That's why we uh, uh, Ukrainians are ready to uh, war. Ukrainian citizen, military reserve, they're getting ready to go all out to war family straight up and what i want you to understand is just see how these things are being in my opinion portrayed and then romanticized by the mainstream media and i just left it on this still for you right now because you got to understand they put a family they went out and they tried to find a wife who was nervous that her her husband is going to be basically put into into the war and he was at home with the family right so you got to see the fear being pumped into the it's, it's real it's real the stuff is really happening but you got to understand how it's being categorized now and also understand when you even look at how they're pushing this stuff out you could even hear hear the music that they put on it remember all videos like this somebody edited this video and you could just hear hear the sadness and hear just hear the the soundtrack on it Listen to this. I want you to pay attention closer to how the video is being made because you always got to see the message that's in the bottle. So check this out. Listen to the music. They are ready to go right now. It won't be bloodless. Uh, there will be suffering. There will be sacrifice. Ukraine seeming to know how imminent full-scale invasion could be, declaring a state of emergency. Do you catch what I'm saying? The dramatization of it all. And what I want you to understand is there are a lot of people who are making money in these ta in these very sad times. You understand? We we see we see deeper than what our two eyes. You understand what I'm saying here? Now, we see the dramatization of it all. We see how this is going to impact a lot of people. This is the real people who are getting involved and becoming basically the middleman. So this is going to get a lot of people. First of all, your your let's talk about it. Your portfolio might be down a little bit. But there's a lot of people who are down in the ground now because 
Guess what? They didn't get to wake up today because they got bombed with drones and mis I don't know if it's drones with missiles and things like that. So come on now. It's, it's getting crazy. It's really getting crazy. So again, I want you to learn how to buy a put option. So let's talk about why that's an important skill before we go on further. Right. So when you buy a put option, what, I, what you got to understand how to do is and this is a real skill. So I want you to put some headphones in the chat. When you buy a put option, you basically buy the ability to sell something to somebody. Imagine that you own a home, right? Let's say that you own a, a really, really nice house and your house was worth a million dollars, right? And then you basically sell me a contract saying that you could sell this house to me at a million dollars. And I'm in the contract. I sign it and I say, OK, you can sell this house to me for a million dollars, but I'm not going to do this forever. You can only sell it to me until let's call it 2023, right? So now I'm in this contract with you and your million dollar house and you can sell it to me at any point until 2023. And then all of this craziness happens. The rate hikes happen. Your house price comes down. Let's say we say the Ukraine and Russia invasion that happens, right? Russia invading Ukraine. Boom. The oil price is going up. And then the, the house price, your million dollar house goes down to 500,000, even 100,000. But guess what? You still have a contract that says you could sell me this house until 2023 for a million dollars because now I'm in a contract with you. Now, a lot of people are going to make a lot of money doing that because they are going to have people in contracts and put contracts saying that they could sell it to you no matter what happens to the price. They could sell it to you at that strike price. So then you know what's going to happen. So many people are going to make a lot of money. And I used this example yesterday and I did it on a live and I could have stayed in it much longer, but I didn't because you know what? We get in and we get up and we get out. But I want you to see this. I did a Ford put option. No, this was the Ford call. Do I still have the, the put? No, we did a spy i don't know if i still have i had it up yesterday let me just check because you know i got the receipts always right i did a spy call and then i immediately jumped into a spy put and in the spy put option i think i made about maybe a hundred dollars like really really quickly now i just leave it you you was there so let's keep talking about it look at the market right now all of these red candles when you are buying put options this is how you basically make money as the stocks come down and it's so important to see that red candles on a put option when you buy a put are basically the same as green candles going up when you buy a call it's just the total opposite of that right so we got to see what's going on with the market in terms of technical analysis this is huge right here do you see this red line let me explain to you what red lines are on my chart right here this is the 200 moving average we have the price on the daily chart well below the 200 moving average, which is a negative sign, right? And then over here, we have a support line of about 420, a support line of 420. Let's zoom in even more and see what happened to that support line. It got blasted through right here at about 4 a.m., blasted through, and now the SPY has come down to about 410. So I want you to understand that in the short term, there are two factors here. The first factor is if you can buy a put, a put option, you can make money. But you got to understand, again, number one, the implied volatility on these things are going to shoot up, right? Meaning that you can get IV crushed very easily. So you don't want to be way too long term in your put options. And then the second thing is just be vigilant. Just be vigilant. You understand? Somebody said hit the like button. I appreciate you for that, family. You know we got to keep it over 50% like. So let's do that. Let's take a second. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And then make sure that you have hit the like button. Let's get the likes over the 700 mark. So let's keep talking about it. And let's, man, I, I just see what's going on in the world. And it just hurts my heart. It really, it really, it really does. And I want you to just think about, like, I, I'm almost at a loss for words because... You remember that saying? It's like, are you not entertained? Like, this is the this is the gladiator game. And we talked about this, how there are so many things going on with a potential a potential recession. There's so many things going on with the Federal Reserve, with the banks and everything like that. And then, boom, now all of a sudden we 
it, it's, it's crazy, man. It's so crazy. And I want to just leave you with this quote. I'm not going to get off of the live. I'm going to be on live with y'all for a while today. But I want to just put, hit y'all with this quote real quick because this is important. This is important for the people whose lives are at stake. And it says this. War does not determine who is right. Only who is left. And I want you to remember that. Now, this is a quote that I heard, and I'm not even sure where I got it from. But war does not determine who is right. Only who is left. And now there are innocent people who get caught up in the middle of it. And you know what? Let's continue on and let's just see. Let's just go to the facts right here. Let me up the quality of this video a little bit, but I'm on live, so I want to destroy the data. So here we go. You ready? Let's check this out. Let's see if I can get it to play for us. I might have to down it again. Overnight in the capital of Ukraine, the sound of missile strikes and air sirens. Explosions rocking several cities, including the capital of Kyiv, targeting military installations, including air bases housing fighter jets. The initial strikes that we think we're hearing right now, right out of the Russian playbook, would be cruise missiles to take out things like surface-to-air missile systems, air defense uh, systems that the Ukrainians would have. That would clear the path for waves of bombers and attack aircraft to continue to hit Things like uh, power plants, command and control, uh, internet command centers. Russian president. So this guy just said, this guy right here, he just said, and let me come back to me. What they're doing over in Russia or in Ukraine, Russia is invading Ukraine right now. And they're attacking many different kind of military bases, the kinds of bases where you know how it's an anti-aircraft zone. So then you can't fly an airplane over certain places because you'll get shot down. Well, Russia is shooting those places down so that Russia doesn't get shot down when they do flybys, right? So it's, it's getting crazy, and we're going to keep hearing about this stuff. And what I want you to do on the stock market is be ready. Be ready. Be prepared. You know what I'm saying? I want you to understand this. The weak are going to fold. This is why I've been preaching all year about how to build that foundation out. You understand what I'm saying? You got to have your VTI. You got to have your Apples. You got to have your Microsofts. When you look at a lot of these speculative plays, I was playing around yesterday in terms of on my video talking about future fintech. But when you have speculative plays like, like this, and this is the only kind of play that you have, then I want you to see. Look at this. If you have no foundation, you are going to get killed in certain speculative plays. This thing dropped all the way down. Let's go to the, the month chart so we can just even get it. Look, right? It dropped all the way down from, I can't even tell on this time frame. It just came down so crazy that we can't even see the top. We can't even see the top. Let's check this out. 2021, this thing was, hold up, compared to today's prices in 2021, they're saying 8,000, it must have split again and again and again. This thing lost crazy value, even $2, even $2 in what? May, $2 in May. This thing is down bad, real bad. And a lot of people are getting smoked. You understand? So you got to have a strong foundation. Everything is pretty much down. Now we got to look at our apples, right? We got to look at our apples. We got to look at things like this, things that are going to bounce back. You understand? That's important. So let's let's keep it going and let's understand. Look at Neo. Neo is down basically right now to the eighteen dollar mark. What am I doing today? What is Keenan Grace doing today? I'll tell you this. And everybody in the Discord, you already know what time it is. It's put season, baby. It's put season. And Ukraine is only going to make their troops get involved because they have to defend themselves. They have to defend themselves. And then what's going to happen with that is the United States and other different nations are going to keep adding these sanctions on Russia. And guess what's going to happen with that? Russia already addressed how they feel about these sanctions. And let's let's go and let's talk about it. Let's go. Russia's building shields up against these sanctions. They're, notice that they're trying to cut Russia off from having money. But watch this. We get into the facts today, baby. The Biden administration's targeting two major banks, sovereign debt, election el or Russian elites, and the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. But analysts say Russia will likely weather those economic sanctions, at least initially. That's because Vladimir Putin has stashed away a mountain of cash to use as a powerful financial shield. Russia has the fourth largest foreign exchange reserve in all the world. Their assets held by a central bank in foreign currency and gold reserves. In total, Russia's foreign exchange reserves total more than $630 billion. 
Economists say that's enough to counter the West sanctions for the time being. Here's CNBC's Robert Frank. Well, Shep, Russia has quietly been building a financial fortress to better protect itself against even the toughest U.S. sanctions. Its reserves now large enough to fund two years of imports or to pay off their entire national debt. Did you hear what he just said? They're trying to add these sanctions onto Russia to cut them off. But Russia's been planning this for a long time, for a long time. And they have now so much money that he said that they could pay off their entire national debt or just run with being cut off for two years straight. According to what we just saw here, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So Russia, come on now. We've been they've been planning this. They've been planning this for so long. And it's, it's just man, let's let's keep it going. I want you to just really hear that. Hear that say that's enough to counter the West sanctions for the time being. Here's CNBC's Robert Frank. Well, Shep, Russia has quietly been building a financial fortress to better... A financial fortress. Planned all along. I'm telling you this, family. You are now entering into the gladiator games. I've been telling you this time and time again. ...itself against even the toughest U.S. sanctions. Its reserves now large enough to fund two years of imports or to pay off their entire national debt. Now, they don't need to do that so they can use all this money to fund their largest companies, the government, the banks, and even the oligarchs for months and months. Now, Russia's dependence on oil and gas, that has long been seen as a... He said even if they wanted to give their elites money, they could still even do that for months and months and months with on end. Yes, now it is clearly a strength. The oil price is closing in on $100 a barrel. If oil holds at even $90 a barrel this year. So someone in the comments just said, man, Russia doesn't have money. Russia doesn't have debt. They could pay off the debt. They basically have no debt. And then with the prices of oil going up, look how much money they can make. Russia will have an additional $65 billion in its piggy bank, bringing its total reserves to over $700 billion. And that's why Russian officials say these sanctions will, quote, be unpleasant but fundamentally change nothing. Now, the irony here is that Russia's new economic defenses... It's been said that every single dollar, and this was an estimation that i seen from analysts, that every single dollar that oil goes up, Russia is going to have billions of dollars just off of oil going up one dollar because the amount that they're producing, they're about the third largest producer in the entire world. ...are largely the result of the 2014 sanctions. Those were intended to stop Putin's invasions. Instead, they led him to create this new financial system that's even... Oh my gosh, did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? Let's listen to this. So, there was something that happened with Ukraine or with Russia in 2014, right? So they've been planning this. They've been planning this for a long time. Listen to this. Listen to what happened in the past and how he used it to set up now. Ready? ...changed nothing. Now, the irony here is that Russia's new economic defenses are largely the result of the 2014 sanctions. Those were intended to stop Putin's invasions. Instead, they led him to create this new financial system that's even more sanction-proof and independent from the West. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? This is crazy. They just said that they did sanctions to them in 2014, but they didn't think about the repercussions, family. They didn't think about how it would trickle down to basically to the year 2022. So then guess what? Guess what happened now? Now they are prepared for the sanctions. So then that won't even stop them. That won't even stop them. But you know what, family? It gets crazier. It gets even crazier. And I want you to just think about what's happening with this and thinking about how this is going to impact the market because this is getting bad. But I want to I want to show you something. Shout out to the Discord fam for putting me on this. Take a look at this. Let me go and show you a receipt from one of my Discord family members. Take a look at this. I'll open it up in a second. I had to airdrop it. Here you go. Take a look at this. When I saw this, I was thinking to myself, oh, yeah, it's bad, but it could get worse. So you ready? Here we go. It says right here that Putin, he's quoted to say, countries that interfere with Russia will face consequences you have never seen. Now, that sounds like a threat if I ever heard one. 
You see what I'm saying? Countries that interfere with Russia will face consequences you have never seen. Now, that's crazy. And they were preparing for this. They said, OK, you want to sanction us? You want to sanction us in, in 2014? OK, let us stack our money up. Let us stack our money up. So when you try to do the same thing again, and what I want you to also understand is, <laughs> yo, it, it's, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. Imagine how this could carry out into the future. Russia already knows how the world is going to react and who chose sides. They know who chose sides. So I'm just telling you straight up, how are we going to win in this kind of a market? Put options. Put options. Not random put options. You got to know what you're doing. But let's watch and let's keep it going. You ready for this? Let's hear it. Some future sanctions that perhaps could do more damage to Russia from the West. Listen, listen to how they want to react to what Russia is doing, right? They want to do more what? Sanctions? Now, some future sanctions that perhaps could do more damage to Russia include cutting them off from SWIFT, that is the global payment system, we could target a broader number of oligarchs who are more connected to the West, and we could squeeze more of their oil and gas sales. But the growing evidence suggests that sanctions in general have not been that effective at blocking autocrats from their military goals. Just take a look at, look at North Korea. As one Treasury official told me, sanctions don't stop tanks. I should have named this video that. Sanctions don't stop tanks. That is a powerful message. You understand what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. Sanctions don't stop tanks. They don't stop missiles. They don't stop bombs. This is... It's so sad because there are so many people who are getting in the middle of this. And you know what's going to happen in the background? Let's be clear. What's going to happen is the, the government, they're going to do these rate hikes. It's not going to catch the mainstream media as heavy as it was, right? They're going to have trouble combating inflation. We're going to be in a recession. And guess what they're going to say? They're going to say exactly what CNBC, or was it CNBC or was it NBC? Let's go check out good old unusual whales. Because they commented on something on Twitter that I want us all to see. And... This is how the mainstream media, in my opinion, tries to spin these things. And I'll, I'll take a look at this. It's actually CBS. CBS said the U.S. economy has been hit with increased gas prices. That's true. Hit with inflation. That's true. Hit with supply chain issues. That's true. Due to what? Due to the Ukraine crisis. Due to the Ukraine crisis. Stop the cap. Hold up. The Ukraine crisis is, is just starting to really escalate right now. We've been had a supply chain crisis. All of my people who know about EVs, and we've been work, talking about the EVs, all of us who remember how there were so many different ships, right? Do you remember how there were just, just thousands and thousands of ships on the sea that couldn't dock, right? And they were just at sea for weeks. Supply chain issues, family. What are they talking about when they're saying that the U.S. economy is being hit with increased gas prices due to the Ukraine crisis and all of this other stuff? This is a blue check mark mainstream media source, CBS News. This is the most this is this is straight up. What All I want you to understand is. Who's behind door number two? Who's behind this door? When you flip back, and again, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, when you look back behind all of this stuff, you got to ask yourself. Who owns who owns these news outlets? Who owns all of these sources? They're pumping in all of this fear. They're pumping in all of this misinformation that we know to be incorrect. Right. And what happens here? What happens is people start to believe it. Why would they lie to me? That's what that, that's what happens. This is what happens. And we we got to do better in terms of understanding all of the facts. We got to. We have to. We have to understand all of the facts. Now, let's keep going and let's keep listening to the facts or at least the mainstream mer or media's version of the facts because they throw some facts in there. But at the same time, they spin them. They spin them and spin them and spin them. The facts is getting dizzy, baby. You ready? 
like uh, power plants, command and control systems uh, that the Ukrainians would have. That would clear the path for waves of bombers and attack aircraft to continue to hit things like uh, power plants, command and control, uh, internet command centers. Russian President Vladimir Putin warning that any foreign attempt to interfere with Russian action will lead to, quote, consequences they have never seen. He said it again. Any foreign, who's foreign? The United States is foreign. Everybody that's not Russian is foreign. And if you interfere, you interfere with that, then guess what? You're going to see consequences you've never seen. This sounds like what what type of technology do you have over there? You understand? What type of technology do you have over there that you got consequences that people have never seen? To interfere with Russian action will lead to, quote, consequences they have never seen. Talking about the denazification and demilitarization uh, of Ukraine. I mean, judging by those words, this appears to be the worst case scenario, potentially. We have to wait and see. Not just forces moving into the east of these rebel held areas, but potentially moving on other parts of the country. This seems to be a much larger ambition. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky issuing a video statement overnight declaring martial law, urging Ukrainians to stay home and not panic, adding, quote, we are strong. Earlier, at the exact moment Putin announced. Urging Ukrainians to stay home and not panic. They are being bombed. The Russian military operation was underway. The UN Security Council was gathering for an emergency session. Their pleas for peace coming after the first explosions were heard. I have only one thing to say from the bottom of my heart. President Putin, stop your troops from attacking the Ukraine. Give they are on the news begging. They're on the news literally begging. You see this? They don't even know what to do but ask to try to protect the people. Stop your troops from attacking the Ukraine. Give peace a chance. Too many people have already died. Then at the end of the... Just imagine, and this is no disrespect to no political sides or anything like that, I want you to just imagine seeing your world leader or leaders of your country, of your nation, leaders of the continent that you live on, on the news, asking and pleading and putting their hands up like this, that you stop, that you please stop. That has to be terrifying. And we already know in the market, how does the market react to things that are terrifying to people that fear? uncertainty and doubt the fear uncertainty and doubt this is going to give us a chance to basically look at companies that we could get in low and at the same time we do have to keep mind that people is really is really dying you said man so many truth bombs this morning i'm telling you ima imagine it let's keep it going a chance too many people have already died then at the end of the session a stunning moment when the ukrainian ambassador directly addressed his russian counterpart there is no purgatory for war criminals they go straight to hell ambassador the escalation appeared to begin earlier wednesday when cyber attacks targeted ukrainian government websites and banks civilian flights were restricted and one senior pentagon official told abc's martha raditz quote you are likely in the last few hours of peace on the European continent for a long time to come. Be careful. A very sobering message, but captures exactly what we are facing here in Ukraine on the European continent. The most dangerous time, as they've said over and over at the Pentagon, since World War II.